I can also see that I should create an image style so that I can make all of my images smaller. Let's do that right now too. IMG is the HTML tag that we'll use as a selector for our CSS. And I'll just put width 300 px, save, and take a peek at my pages. Much nicer. I also noticed that the images, an image tag is an inline tag. So there's not an automatic return after every image tag. And I can see that as a problem. But I will say margin auto, which will make my image tag centered. And then I'll put display, because I don't want it to display as an inline tag. I want it to display as a block level tag. Display block. And let's take a peek at it. There they are. The images are all centered. And they're all 300 px. Much nicer. OK. So now let's talk about some colors. I'll go back to my styles. Well, first, let's create a background color for the header tag. Header, right? Remember, this is not the same as the head tag. Uh, I've already worked out my styles, my colors, by the way. I went to uh, Color Scheme Designer, which brings me to the Palaton website. I chose analogous colors. And I picked colors that were in this range, maybe right around there. So I just hovered over these to get the colors I wanted. And now I'm going to give my header a background color. Of hashtag 6B95A3. A width of 800 pixels, and I'll say margin auto to make sure it's all centered on the page. Let's take a peek at it. That's pretty good header. Let's say text align center. And give it some padding. Save. So the great thing about this is all of the headers have been styled in the same way. So we don't have to go through and put this on every page. We're going to put it one time in our styles. Let's go ahead and style the nav section. So I'll say the same thing about text. Text align, center. And I'll give it a color. This is going to be just a color. The word color will give the text a color, but it won't give the background a color. And this is going to be 2C4D74. Now I'll give it the same width. and margin auto so that the block level, the nav, everything in the nav will be centered. This centers the text. This will center, these two will center the whole block, the whole nav section. And some padding. And let's take a look at that. Here it is, all centered. Now I will style the main section. Very similar styling. I'll give it a background color of 6B9-5A3. Oops, save. I'll also give this one a text color. 
which is just the word color by itself. 06203F. Save. Same width. Look, I could just copy all of this and save. Let me get rid of that little return. Now let's style the footer. So with this footer, I'm going to do text align center also. And then I will give it a background color of 17365C. 17365C. And a text color of, oops, I forgot my colon, a text color of 6B9, which I've used before. Let's see if it'll pop up for me. There it is, 6B9-5A3. And then, once again, these same three. Let's do a save and take a peek. Look how quickly this has come together. This is part six. Let's look at the home. I just think it's looking great. We'll do one more video in which I'll do some things that I'm feeling like could be particular styles.